Well, that paragon of all knowledge and truth, the New York Times, has finally come around to admitting it, yes, there is such a thing as a doctrine of jihad found in the Quran. This happens because of the relentless revealing of the doctrine by Islamic State and an insistence upon that everything they do is found in the Sunnah and the Quran. So the New York Times is finally, well, yeah, there is a little truth to that, but their interpretation is so narrow. Well, New York Times still has something to learn because it turns out that the Islamic State's interpretation is the broadest possible interpretation. To understand this, you need to understand the Quran. The Quran is a gradual revelation. Everything doesn't come out all at once. It starts off being peaceful and religious in the city of Mecca. So the New York Times has that part right that is peaceful. But as the Quran is continually revealed, there is more and more violence. At first, violence is only defensive until finally it's full out offensive. So you see, Islamic State includes all of the Quran, whereas the peaceful religion just includes a little part of the Quran. So the New York Times has it completely upside down. Islamic State is the broadest possible interpretation of the Quran whereas the peaceful religion argument about Islam is a narrow interpretation. So, New York Times, a little more to learn, but you need to understand that Islamic State includes all of the Quran and is hence the broadest possible interpretation of Islam. Thank you.